Well guys, here's my situation as it stands. There's the road. There's my Jeep. So, I'm basically completely screwed here for the night. Not really a whole lot I can do other than find a good flat spot and set up camp. So, that's what we're going to do. Well, alright guys. That's what I got going on. I got some fuel. Some uh, tender, or not tender, uh, kindling. And I've got some uh, tender over here on this side. Sorry about the shadow of the camera, but... There we go. Things are a little more serious than that right now. So my Jeep is way up the hill up there. You can't even see it. And I don't have enough gas left in it to keep it running all night to keep the heater going. So what I've done is use a pup tent half that I had in uh, some painter's drop cloth. And I was planning on camping when I came out here, so that kind of helped a little bit. Just goes to show you it helps to come at least somewhere I prepared. But anyway, got a little super shelter going here. Inexpensive wool blanket. Got my cheap bow saw and uh, hatchet. Pretty heavy jacket. Got the old Stevens up there. And I have some mashed potatoes and ground beef um, in a little bag that I can cook tonight for food. So, and I have one of those little Weber. Hey, I'm sorry if this is way too bright. I have one of those little Weber charcoal lighter things but I also have some cotton balls and makeup pads and all that kind of stuff in here so I'm going to save the Weber uh, lighter for you know maybe in the morning that way I can uh, you know start that thing and and really get a fire going quickly in the morning when I need to, to warm up fast so or if at any point during the night that I wake up and I need to warm up really fast so anyway let me get this go ahead this fire going and uh, we'll see what happens let me set you down over here. All right, guys, this is what I got going on right here. I don't know if you can see this, but my the bottom third of my pants are frozen. a little better all right I'll save my lighters and my fur rod and all that for in the morning so I'm assuming what's gonna happen is I'll have to just spend the night here then in the morning I'll load up and uh, I'll hike out and probably just have my wife pick me up and I'll figure out what I can do to to get my vehicle to a later date because the clutch, I think, is given up in it, on top of it being stuck. Set that right there. So, what I have here is a cotton ball and Vaseline. Let's see if it'll work its magic, now that it's real. It's old fire steel. Here it is. Just had to process it a little bit more. I guess the lesson here is don't get in too big of a hurry. So this is all bark that I've just processed up. Oh, and it's taken a flame. Oh, good Lord, I love it. It's a little bit too...
smothered it. Burn, baby, burn. We don't need no water, let the mother burn. Burn, mother. Uh, I think that's getting established. Dump the snow out of there. Oh man. Okay. No time to lollygag around. I'll catch you in a minute when I get this more established. Alright guys, this is what's shaking loose right now. Um, obviously the Jeep is still stuck. I've got a good blazing fire going here, and I've got a little bit of hamburger, just ground meat, that's uh, that I had in a freezer I had brought with me on this trip anyway to cook out here, so I'm just sitting by the fire, trying to stay warm. Uh, the cuffs of my pants are actually frozen solid, it's kind of funny. They're like little bells around my boots. Um, I mean, not that they're ringing or anything, they're just solid. Uh, so, as of right now, I've just got a pretty good size fire, trying to stay warm. I've got the super sh uh, shelter set up, uh, cooking some food, uh, the cotton ball and uh, ferro rod did well. This uh, inexpensive, let me see if I can find it for you, this inexpensive Fiskars saw has been great best eleven dollars ever especially now and once again this guy has made an appearance this uh, east wing so right now I'm just trying to keep enough logs on the fire that the fire stays good and hot and doesn't uh, start to start to peter out on me I'm probably gonna wait till early in the morning to go to bed um, or I'm going to try to wait. That way I can uh, throw a whole bunch of logs on here, have a big roaring fire, go into the super shelter, and hopefully catch some sleep, and then in the morning I'll figure out what to do with the Jeep. Um, man. What a cluster. But I stuck my hand in the uh, super shelter a little while ago, and it is actually warm in there right now even with what small fire that I have. Uh, I did hike back up to the vehicle and grab an extra just Harbor Freight wool blanket and this chair that I'm sitting in now just because, hey, you know, if I'm doing the thing, I'm gonna do the thing comfortably as I can, right? Uh, if 
I'd have known this was going to happen, I'd have just brought the damn hot tent. But Oh well. That's okay. We're doing all right for now. Uh, if anything else comes up, I'll get back to you. Uh, I'm just going to cook up this hamburger meat and dice it up a little bit. Not dice it up, but, you know, chop it up a little bit. And I'm going to mix some mashed potato, some four cheese uh, Idaho and mashed potato mix in with that and then just add water as needed to make just kind of a meaty potato-y kind of a thing. So, it'll just be something to warm up with anyway. So, I'll catch you in a little bit. Alright guys, I can't say this is the most uh, appetizing thing in the world, but you know, it's hot. Meat and potatoes probably would have been a lot better separately, but uh, I don't really care right now. I'm just hungry, so. Hmm. That's actually not bad. Probably make a good soup base or something like that. But. Anyway, that's just uh, Idaho and four cheese, mashed potatoes, and. Uh, just some ground beef. So, that's dinner tonight. I'll catch you after a while. Hey guys, I've got, <clears throat> excuse me, hey guys, I've got a roaring fire going out there. I've had to get out of the uh, tent and reload the wood probably, probably ten times over the course of the night. Um, but I will say, it does get nice and warm in here when there's a good, you know, fire going. There has to be... A pretty substantial fire going in order for it to really make much of a difference in here but I've been able to keep it uh, most of the night within comfort level for using just a cheap wool blanket and for insulation on the ground all I have is that uh, piece of cordura that I used to use to make a hammock and uh, I have a cheap Ozark trail sleeping pad I have the Harbor Freight wool blanket that was in <clears throat> in my vehicle on top of that and that's provided plenty of insulation against the snow uh, also I have you know like I said the other uh, Ectos I think is what it's called wool blanket that I've been covering up and of course right now I don't even need a blanket because the fire is roaring outside and uh, it's about 530 now so it should last me until I decide to get up Sorry I didn't take you with me on all those little firewood runs because they were miserable at best and uh, throwing a camera around just would have made that worse. I think in the future if I do this type of shelter, I might use a little bit thicker plastic, maybe some uh, shower curtains or something like that and I'll cut them so that they fit this pup tent. But that all being said, right now with this good roaring fire I am warm warm. So, anyway, I'll try to get a little bit more sleep and we'll see what happens. Right, guys recap on last night it was a very long very cold night um, 
the super shelter did what it's supposed to do but you still have to keep a pretty good roaring fire going in order to keep that sucker warm uh, the hero of the situation tonight is probably that eleven dollar Fisker's bow saw um, let me turn this around and I'll show it to you So, sorry, I got a hiking pole, my bag, Pathfinder skillet, and the uh, little Fisker's bow saw right there. So, I'll do a little sweep here for you so you can see the shelter. You can see my, my hat in there. Just trying to keep it warm so when I put it on, it won't be so damn cold. Fire pit. So, anyway, turn this back around. All right, now, you'll notice this log right here that's cut off. It's kind of weird with the angle for you, but that log goes clear all the way behind me. I don't know if you can see it. So, from here all the way up to that log. It was resting on that log over there. Okay, or back here I guess is the way to put it. So here, all the way to there. That's how much wood I used just to basically keep from shivering last night. Um, you can see all the spots where the sawdust has dropped everywhere that I cut so the uh, super shelter is an amazing thing oh sorry about that I didn't mean to move the camera but uh, it is still subject to you feeding that fire all night long and now uh, after using that in this situation where all I had was a cheap ass wool blanket to keep myself warm it really gave me a healthy respect for uh, how efficient hot tents are. Um, they're incredibly efficient. You can burn so little wood. I mean, I can, I can, in 20 minutes, cut enough wood to last me the entire night uh, with my wood stove. With this, I got up at least 10 times last night and cut a long, you know, log and then had to gather some other sticks and everything to to boost up the heat a little bit and really get it burning. So, uh, the shelter, I just set up the military pup tent on a ridge line um, because it was quick. I had a, uh, you know, I hate to say it, but some of the bigger channels have good ideas once in a while. I had a quick deploy ridge line set up in my bag. So all I had to do is just go around one tree and toggle it, go around the other tree, do a trucker's hitch, pull it tight, and I already had uh, prussic loops already made onto that line. So all I had to do was put a toggle on each end of the pup tent and pull it tight, stake it down around the back, call it good. So, anyway, for now, while I'm uh, figuring out what I'm gonna do, I guess I will just have some oatmeal. So what I've got today, so I found a bunch of these canteens in a scrap yard. And this one wasn't in the best condition, but I, I cleaned it all up with some uh, steel wool. And uh, it's definitely usable now. Pretty clean. You could tell there is some uh, soot on it. So it has been used at some point. It's stamped uh, JQMD 1949. So I believe that's Jefferson Quartermaster Intermediate Depot. Or Depot as they call it in the military. Um, and I really like the handle design on this thing too. You know, I see the soot on this thing and it really makes me wonder. And there, there's 
it could have the last person who had this could have just been a camper like myself and in which case the soot has no significance but what if this thing had at some point been to let's see Korean War or something like that I wonder who was missing their family while they were having a uh, a hot drink or a meal or something like that cooked in this cup just a thought I love how these you know I've got a I've got a couple more of them at the house I also have one of the uh, the little mess kits but I don't have the silverware for it I really like this little thing the way it just locks in like that though that's uh, that's solid my uh, heavy cover lid doesn't fit greatly on it the little silicone one that I have but psh, who cares I have aluminum foil we got it. Anyway, let me get to cooking this crap up and quit rambling in your ear. I'll catch you in a little bit. Just in case anyone was curious at all what the inside of the shelter looked like. That's what it is right there. Uh, piece of Cordura. Um, sleeping mat from, I think that one's from Walmart. Ozark Trail. Um, and the Harbor Freight wool blanket and the uh, Ektos wool blanket. That's it. No, uh, no tricks, no extra items. That's all I had. So... We made it work though. Let's see what the temperature is right now. I think it's warmed up a little bit, but let's see. Um, see if we can zoom in on it a little bit here for you. 25, looks pretty close. All right, I'll catch you later. Hey guys, just finished up my oatmeal. Something hot to warm the bones. Might have been a little too hot, burned the roof of my mouth. But that's okay. We're alive, we're good. Um, now I think I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, clean this cup out a little bit, get all the oatmeal out of there, out of there before it turns to super glue. And uh, start figuring out a way to get that vehicle out of here. I guess I'll get myself out of here first and then I'll make some calls and try to get that out. So, if I can, I'll update you. If I don't, as always, I hope you succeed in everything you attempt to accomplish in your life. Have a great day. I'll catch you on the next one.